Hi guys, welcome to my channel Patantaracha Yukta means learning tricks. My name is Akshay Jede and today we will discuss about diaphragm pressure transducer. Uh, we have already discussed about uh, uh, Borden tube in previous video. If you not see th that video, please refer that video and see another type of pressure transducer is nothing but diaphragm pressure transducer. So first understand the diagram of this. This is a diaphragm and this is a diaphragm spring. This is a vent and this is a scale. This is a fixed point and this is an indicator means nothing but the pointer. So how diaphragm works. So from this point air comes. It moves the diaphragm above and below due to which this rod uh, oscillates and gives the motion to the indicator and point to shows the pressure of the measuring uh, of measuring instruments. So this is nothing but the uh, pressure transducer. So many dynamic pressure measuring devices use an elastic diaphragm as the primary pressure transducer. Okay. When pressure applied on either side of diaphragm, it gets deflected. The deflection is proportional to the differential pressure acting on a diaphragm. Means what? Uh, when pressure is applied on the Hi guys, welcome to my channel Patantaracha Yukta means learning tricks. My name is Akshay Jede and today we will discuss about diaphragm pressure transducer. We have already discussed about the Borden tube transducer in previous video. So you can refer that video. So let's understand the diagram of this diaphragm. So this is nothing but the spring which moves this uh, base up and down and which rotate th this oscillate this rod as well and gives the pointer and deflection of the pointer and this pointer gives the reading of the pressure so this is nothing but from here pressure which is we have to measure comes and this moves this spring up and down and it gives the rotation to this pointer and it gives the calibra calibration or measurement of the pressure this is how this diaphragm working is this so let's understand important point of this diaphragm many dynamic pressure measuring devices I mean this is used to measure the dynamic pressure use an elastic diaphragm as the primary pressure transducer okay when pressure is applied on either side of diaphragm it gets deflected so the deflection is proportional to the differential pressure acting on a diaphragm means deflection is directly proportional to how much pressure is acting on a diaphragm so third point is this can also be used to measure pressure if pressure on the other side of the diaphragm is either atmospheric or known means uh, on other side if there is atmospheric pressure so we all know that atmospheric pressure is one and the pressure which we don't know so that pressure we can compare with atmospheric pressure and find the unknown pressure so this is how uh, the meaning of the, this statement is so after that there are some shapes of diaphragm first shape is flat shape then corrugated shape then capsule type shape so after this pressure deflection relation so this is nothing but the relation of pressure deflection p is equals to 16 e raise e into t raise to 4 upon 3 r raise to 4 in a bracket 1 minus v square okay into y by t plus 0.488 into y by t the whole cube so uh, where p is a pressure difference across the diaphragm y is nothing but the deflection of the diaphragm from the center means how much diaphragm is deflected from the center capital e is nothing but modulus of elasticity of the diaphragm material t is nothing but thickness of the diaphragm r is nothing but radius of the diaphragm and v is nothing but the poisson ratio so y by t the whole cube can be neglected if small deflection is there so uh, in some uh, values or in some numerical this term can be neglected if the, this value is very negligible means very small so only after this neglecting this term so only this much formula remains okay after that we will just see advantages of this transducer advantages is this is small and moderate cost low hysteresis loss and no permanent zero shift third corrosion resistance material can be used so what is disadvantages of this diaphragm difficult to repair and sensitive to shock and vibration means this diaphragm also gives uh, sens sensitiveness means deflection for shock and vibration as well 
means due to that the accuracy of the pressure measurement affected okay after that we will just see another type of transformer or transducer which nothing but the bellows so first we will understand the diagram of the bellows this is nothing but the bellows this is a spring and this is a sector this is a pinion and on which pinion pointer is mounted and this is a calibrated scale so how it is work so from here we apply the pressure which moves this bellow up down and this spring gives the uh, linear motion to this sector and this sector is connected to pinion as the sector moves pinion moves and uh, as we know that pointer is also connected to pinion pinion moves and it gives the rotation to the pointer as well and this is how we can able to measure the pressure which we have to measure this is how this is the simple working of the bellows so let's understand the main point of bellows bellows are flexible one piece longitudinal uh, longitudinal expandable and collapsible elastic member consisting of several convolution or folds okay this is nothing but the definition of bellow bellow are used for measurement of gauge pressure or vacuum pressure as well as for measurement of differential pressure okay then after that they are accurate for pressure range up to 3 kilopascal to 100 kilopascal bellows are generally made up of brass stainless steel phosphorus bronze monel metal and beryllium copper so now we will understand the advantages of bellows simple and rough can measure gauge absolute and differential pressure good for low to moderate pressure and moderate cost which is uh, most important that it is not so much expensive so what is the disadvantages of the bellow hysteresis and zero shift problem need a stiff spring for accurate measurement not suitable for dynamic pressure measurement due to the mass means as we see in the previous uh, diagram means which is nothing but the diaphragm, diaphragm pressure transducer which is used to measure the dynamic pressure and these bellows are not suitable to measure the dynamic pressure so this is nothing but the disadvantages of this bellow so this is nothing but my efforts to tell you what is pressure transducer the three types of pressure transducer first is Borden tube second is diaphragm pressure transducer and third is bellows so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you